That is Perry Peacock with Wilderness Innovation. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to make the twig stove. Um, you might also call it maybe a, a, a hobo stove with a, uh, with a fan, you know, an energized so, hobo stove or something. Because uh, we're going to put a fan on it. And uh, it'll be kind of fashioned after this old one that I've had since the 80s. And uh, I've got another video on that that showed, dissected that. But um, you just basically make it out of a, a can of this size, 48 to 50 ounce uh, container. And uh, on this one I'm going to use the, try a pancake fan from Radio Shack. I'm back in the uh, other side of the shop here. And what I've done is uh, made a little bracket that holds the fan on one side. we will make it so I can slide it in and out. But I think that probably right there is going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and make me a mark on the can right there. And kind of right there so I can see that's where I need to line up at. Okay. I'll just drill out the other hole here, wherever we feel like it. Here. Oh yeah, pop rivets, duct tape, pop rivets, and bailing wire. That's all you need. It's some tin cans. You can make anything. Basically, the fan fits right in there. We put our battery leads on here, and we can be powered and ready to rock and roll. I'm going to drill a hole, three holes around here. I'm going to shove the pop rivets in there, and I'm going to cut a piece of lid like this that drops right down inside of there. So, this is how I do it. make you watch the whole thing. I'll shut it off for a minute. All right, so there we are. Pretty good number of holes. I don't know if you can see up inside of there, but our little our rivets stick out on three sides here. And then this is just going to rest right on top of those. And there you go, just like that. So there's our bottom of our fire chamber. And I'm just going to drill. Keep your fingers out of the way. <laughs> Now I'm just going to give me a little hole right here. <laughs> Alright, so all we do is just shove it down in there. Okay, so now, now we've got our, we can hold a big, a big pan or pot here, or if you have something smaller, you can actually kind of orient those things kind of a little bit like that however you want so you can support something a little smaller 